Hello, 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 everybody. My name is Steve Ford, and welcome to your English lesson. Today, I have a great lesson about asking people for favors. Have you ever needed a favor? It could have been something like borrowing money, maybe asking someone to house sit or babysit for you, take care of your kids for a while. Whatever the reason is, I have a great English lesson for you. So that you can ask for a favor in a more polite way or in a more direct way. I was wondering if I could ask you for, for a huge favor. Shoot, I'm all ears. I've got a favor to ask. Run that by me again. So, if you want to be more polite when you're asking that favor, a little more indirect, you could have a little intro, and you could use this speaking, and you could also use this when you're writing. So you could say, "I was wondering if." That's your introduction. I was wondering if. If you want to be even more indirect, but I don't think this is very common. It's too indirect. You could even make it longer. I was wondering if it would absolutely be possible to. No, it's too long. But I was wondering if, and then ask your favor. You could also say, "Do you think there's any chance that?" And listen to my intonation. How polite I'm being. Do you think there's any chance that? I'm not demanding it. I'm not saying, "Hey." Do you think there's any chance that?、Uh, yeah, give it to me now. No, I'm trying to be more polite in my intonation. Do you think there's any chance that? Of course, you could be more direct and say, "I've got a favor to ask. Can you do me a favor? I need your help." So let's say that you are the person that is being asked the favor. Well, what can you say if you are receptive, if you are open to doing a favor? In a more formal way, you could say, "By all means, most definitely." What did you have in mind? If you want to be more friendly, less formal, you could say something like, "Shoot, I'm all ears. Fire away." Now, maybe somebody asks you for a favor that you don't think is reasonable. It happens. Some people they have the nerve to ask for a favor for things that. Are just ridiculous. In a more formal way, to show disbelief, to show I can't believe you are asking that favor, you could say something like, "I beg your pardon." Oh, yes, so formal. I beg your pardon. Opens doors. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. Less formal, you could say, "Run that by me again." Come again. What? Now, if you agree to do a favor, you could say it in a more formal way. It'll be a pleasure. I'm more than happy to do that.、Mm, I really like that one. I am more than happy to do that. I'm more than willing to help out. And then, in a less formal way, you could say, "No worries. I can do that for you." Now, if you want to refuse to do a favor, you could say, "I'm sorry, I won't be able to." Oh, that's so nice. Unfortunately, I have a previous commitment. You could also say it in a less formal way. Sorry, I'm all tied up. No can do. Okay, so try to go back and study that vocabulary, those lines, those expressions that I taught you according to their function. Asking for a favor, saying that you are receptive to a favor, etc. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to do a dialogue with you, and you want to try and remember some of the things that I've taught you here today. So are you ready? Let's go. Hello. Hey, Dave. How's it going?、Mm, same old, same old. Yourself? Actually, I was wondering if I could ask you for a huge favor. Shoot, I'm all ears. Well, you remember I told you I was going to be taking two weeks off this summer. Uh huh. My wife and I are going to be traveling to Spain, and we need someone to take care of our parrot. <coughs> Sure, I'd be more than willing to help. Great, he's pretty low maintenance as far as pets go. I bet, just a little bird seed, I guess. Oh, and I almost forgot, we also have a cat. 
No worries, I've taken care of cats before. I can do that for you guys. Of course, there's also the dog and the fish. But don't worry, really the only high maintenance is my mother-in-law. Run that by me again. We have a dog, fish. No, I got that part. I didn't understand the high maintenance part. <laughs> I actually thought I heard you say mother-in-law. She's a real sweetheart. Your mother-in-law? No, the pit bull. Look, you're more than welcome to stay at our place while we're gone. I can even leave the keys to my BMW if you'd like to take it for a spin. No can do, Jason. I just remembered I'm going to be all tied up. I have to work. Well, let me know if your plans change. If you happen to know anybody who'd like to house sit while we're gone, just let me know. Will do. See ya. Okay, everybody, I hope that you can use this vocabulary in different kinds of situations the next time that you need to ask someone for a favor or when somebody asks you for a favor in English. If you would like to watch more videos, you can do that here. And if you would like to subscribe to my channel, you can also do that here. If you would like to subscribe to my website and contact me, you can do that down below this video. And I look forward to seeing you in our next lesson. Bye for now.